Hello everyone, my name is Aviel Parente, and this is the Light of the Torah. This past week, dear friends of mine unfortunately lost their mother. In the past few years, I have become very close to this family, and to see them going through this devastating tragedy is very, very heart-wrenching. This week's Dvar Torah is dedicated Le'ilui Nishmat Aliyah Bat Michael and is inspired by her legacy. Last week's Parsha, Parshat B'Shalach, is the Exodus story. Finally, the Jews have left Egypt. They're chased by the Egyptians. There's the splitting of the sea. And then the man is the miraculous food that comes down from the heaven, is given to the Jews. And the Parsha ends off with the battle with Amalek. This week's Parsha, Parsha Titro, two major changes, shifts happen within the Jewish people. First, the judiciary system is set up. And second, the Jews officially are given the Torah. The Aseret Hadibrot are given in this week's Parsha. It's the giving of fundamental and foundational body of codified morals and values that have led the Jews for 3,500 years and have very greatly influenced monotheism as a whole, Christianity and Islam as well. But one thing that this week's Parsha and last week's Parsha mention is Shabbat, the mitzvah of Shabbat. Last week, when the Jews first received the man, they're told, every day this food is going to fall from the heavens and you're going to go out and collect a single portion per person. And if you collect too much, it'll spoil by the next day. Except for Fridays. On the sixth day, you're going to go and collect a double portion. This second portion is going to be for you for Shabbat. Why? Because the seventh day is going to be a day of rest. A day of rest for, for you and for God. In this week's parsha, obviously in the Ten Commandments, commandment number four is Zachorat Yom HaShabbat Likudshah. Remember the Shabbat for its sanctity. Six days you're going to work and accomplish all of your tasks. And on the seventh day you're going to rest and it's going to be a day for you and God. Don't do any work. You your children, your servants, your animals, your converts, anyone in your domain won't do any work. Because in six days, God created the world. And on the seventh day, He rested. Shabbat, for most of us, though, isn't just a day of rest, a day of holiness and a day of sanctity. It's not just that. It's a day for us to be together, to come together and spend time with family, with our loved ones, with friends, to be a part of a community, to go to shul, to have lunch with guests. In Pirkei Avot, in the ethics of our fathers, Sage Yossi ben Yochanan starts off by saying, Yihi beitcha patuach lirvacha. Your house should be wide open. Vihiyu aniim b'nei beitcha. And the needy should be a part of your household. And I think that this Mishnah sums up essentially the essence of Shabbat for us today, where we have guests over, where we spend time with family, where we should have our doors open to anybody that needs. Aliyah was an incredibly giving and generous and loving, and warm, and kind person. Her and her husband made sure that their doors were always open to anyone that needed, to anybody that wanted to come over. Shabbat thought that their house was, was incredible. The entire neighborhood would, would stop by their house. All of their kids' friends would come over, and Aliyah, she loved that. That's that for her was of utmost importance, that, that all of her, her kids' friends in the entire neighborhood and all, all of their friends would, would have a place to be if they needed. 
And she always, she always made sure to take care of that and to and to make sure that there was enough food and 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 it was always there was always an abundance of warmth and laughter. There, there was life. That that that's that's what she loved so much. Shabbat at her house made her house full of life. Because of her, Bishuta, for many, Shabbat became Kodesh, it became holy, it became sanctified. It became a day of community, a day to spend time with friends away from the world in this incredible community that was built in her home. And she would never say no to anyone. She couldn't. She couldn't say no to anyone because she loved having as many people over as possible. Her presence is sorely missed by all those who knew her. And we must learn from her and carry on her legacy of chesed, of generosity, of loving kindness, of hospitality, of the, the true meaning and essence of Shabbat. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu comfort her family and all those in her community that are mourning her loss, loss of a great person. Shabbat Shalom.